hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ino so in today's video we'll look at how to enable and disable the firewall in Ubuntu and also how to configure the firewall rules now when it comes to filtering network traffic in uh, Ubuntu or Debian based uh, distros the most common way is to use the IP tables but this can be somewhat advanced or complicated for most people. So there is an easier way, uh, easier tool that simplifies the process for us. And it's called UFW, also called um, Uncomplicated Firewall. So that's what we'll be using. Demonstrate how you can create your firewall rules. I have a terminal open uh, in my Ubuntu machine. And I have I've typed in the, the tool we'll be looking at, UFW. Now this, by default, you'll find that it's disabled. And to check the status of it, we'll use a sudo UFW status. And for this one, it's active because I was working on it earlier and I enabled it. So if it's disabled, you will need to put in, to enable it, you do UFW enable. And if you want to disable it, you can do disable. That should disable it. So now if I repeat the same command as before, it says it's inactive. And I'll, I'll go ahead and re-enable it. Let's check the status. It says it's active and it's giving us some of the rules that are currently on it. So it's allowing um, open SSH from anywhere. So there is a file that we can look at to see any applications that are allowed by default by the uh, firewall. So this is located under etc folder. So let's do sudo less etc ufw. The name of the file is before rules. And as it, if we scroll down, you see some of the rules that it's got. For instance, it's accepting connections that are established. So so accepting or allowing ICMP or ping pack, uh, packets. There's also a DHCP that's allowed and other packets that it allows. So if you look here, there is allow DHCP client. So port 67 and 68 are allowed. We'll go ahead and uh, exit this, just press Q. We'll look at an example of uh, adding a rule to these firewall rules. There's two ways you can use the name of the application or you can use the port number. For instance, if you wanted to add SSH, you can use port 22, or you can just say SSH. And the, the command, the full command will be sudo ufw allow, and then we can put SSH or we can put 22. So let's go ahead and add that. And this, as you can see, it says rule added. Let's go back, let's check the status again. ufw status. Now it's added this rule after the first rule. We'll go ahead and uh, delete it, delete that rule. So we, in order to delete it, we'll have to use the uh, delete command. So sudo ufw delete allow 22. So we're just deleting this line here. And if we go back to the up arrow, it's deleted. Now let's say we wanted to block SSH. One way we can do this is add another line, but we want to make sure that that line, that rule counts before this rule. Otherwise we won't be able to block SSH because right now SSH is allowed. And we can see that by opening a party and then we'll connect to the machine. So let's get the IP address here. So 172.16.1.100. So we'll go to 172.16.1.100 and it's port 22 for SSH. Open. Uh, we'll accept. And then we can just log in. And we're logged in. That's working because, again, this is allowed. Now let's say we wanted to deny it. What what we can do is we can create a new a rule, but we can use a numbered format. That way the rule can be on top of this rule or before that rule. So that will be let's say sudo ufw uh, insert one deny twenty two. So this is the 
position we want it to be inserted at, position number one. Now, if we, we can check the um, status of it, you can say sudo ufw status. There's another command we can use. We can use verbose. Now, you see 22 was inserted at the top. You can also use another command, similar command. You can say number, so it could show us the number, numbers. So this row is number one. Now we can go ahead and try to SSH again using party. 172.16.1.100. And we should be denied. Okay, let's go ahead and check the logs here. John OCT. L dash F. So if you look at the logs here, you'll see that there's a UFW block and it's showing you the MAC address and the source IP that was blocked by uh, UFW. So we'll go ahead and uh, close out that. The other thing we can look at when it comes to, or when working with this tool, UFW, is how to reload. Let's say you applied an, a rule, a new rule, and you wanted to reload the firewall. The command to use is sudo ufw reload. And that reloads the firewall. So let's go ahead and look at the status. And let's go ahead and remove the that deny. Deny. 22, and now it's removed. This should allow us to do SSH again. Now there's another uh, version of the this tool. Uh, there's a GUI version or graphic user interface version that we can run, and it's called GUFW. By default, it's not installed. You'll need to install it. So to install it, we'll do sudo app install GUFW. On my computer, it's already installed, so I didn't install it. To run it, you just type it GUFW, then provide your password. And this is the graphical user interface. You can view what rules you have currently. To add a rule, just click on the plus sign here, and then just put in what kind of uh, policy, if it's uh, allow, deny, reject, uh, the direction, the category, and then what type of application, and so on. So that's for those who want to use a graphical user interface to manage the rules. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.